Hi, I'm Ryan Monk. This is my PIDP 3240 assignment number four. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to change out a dirt bike tire. To successfully do this job, you're going to need a few tools. The first ones are tire irons. Tire irons are going to be used to spoon the rubber tire on and off of the aluminum rim. Secondly, you'll need a gear wrench or equivalent. The gear wrench will be used to tighten and loosen the, both the bead lock and the valve stem nuts. Thirdly, you need a tire pressure gauge and a valve tool. Tire pressure gauge is for checking the pressure and the valve tools for inserting and removing the valve. And lastly, we'll need some tire lube to help make this job a whole lot easier. Okay, so let's get started here. One of the first things we want to do is we want to identify the parts of the tire. We have the bead lock here. The bead lock is what uh, secures the rubber tire to the rim. It's a bit of a clamp, clamping the tire to the rim itself. The second thing is the valve stem. Right here is the valve stem which holds the tire valve, which is uh, part of the inner tube, which is what actually inflates the tire. So we're getting ready to remove. So the first thing we need to do is with our valve stem tool, remove the valve and let the air out of the tire. Now that the tire is deflated, we can use our gear wrench, remove the nut off the valve stem, and loosen the nut on the beadlock. We don't want to take the nut right off the beadlock, we just want to loosen it right up to the end of the threads. However, the nut on the valve stem, it can come right off. Once we've done that, we then now can use our knee or a foot, whatever we have, to break the bead on the tire. You want to do this on both sides. And then we can get ready to remove the tire. So we're going to start at the bead lock here. So bring the bead lock towards ourselves. And then using your knee, you want to push the tire down into the drop center of the rim. Every tire rim has a drop center. The drop center is the skinny part of the rim, generally in the middle of the rim. What that does is by placing the opposite side of the tire itself in the drop center, you can then stretch or pull the opposing side of the rubber tire over the lip of the rim. We'll start to remove the tire. Once you start getting a little way around, it'll start to get a whole lot easier because the tension will be off of the uh, off of the carcass, the tire carcass. There you go. One side's removed. And then using a foot to secure the rim. We'll work to remove the tube. So I just push the valve stem in the tube, so we're into the rim. And then using my fingertips, I'll start pulling the tube out on the back side. That's the tube removed. Okay, so now that we have the tire half off and the tube out, we want to position the bead lock at the bottom, turn the tire sideways, I'm going to put two tire irons in, in the bottom, through, position them about, uh, oh, I don't know, six inches apart, take them back around, take both irons, bend it down, once I get the tire off like this, I can just use my knee and force the tire off the rim. 
there you have it. Okay, so as you can see, we have the tire off, and now we are ready to reinstall it. So uh, the way I like to do it is I like to have the inner tube placed already inside the tire, and just the valve stem sitting there. The inner tube's already been aired up, but it has this natural shape. And for starters, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the rim and line up the hole that the valve stem from the inner tube is going to go into. And using my hands, I'll push that through, and then I'll put a nut on the valve stem just to hold it so it doesn't fall back in. Next thing I do is I'm going to catch, I'm going to get this bead lock, and I'm going to catch it or place it just underneath that rim, pardon me, underneath that tire to secure it. Then using that bead lock to my advantage to hold one side of the rim, we'll start spooning the tire back on. Taking care all the time here around the tube. I don't want to pinch it. The way to do that is just want to make sure that it's placed nicely inside the, the carcass of the tire. Yeah, and just like that, first side's already on. Starting at our beadlock. Then sort of tire iron there just to pull it back. Making sure that the bead lock is in behind. Throw a boot on there to hold that. Another one over there on that side. Just try to work that a little bit. And we'll start working the tire around. One of the tricks to not pinching the tube is to never take your tire iron past, say, 45 degrees. If you go right flat with it, you're not really gaining anything in terms of putting the tire on the rim. And you run the risk of uh, pinching the tube by doing that. That's it. There you go, we've successfully reinstalled the tire on the rim. All I left to do now is to just simply air it up from the valve stem and tighten the, uh, the bead lock. First, to reinflate the tire, we have to put the valve back in the valve stem. So we'll just use our valve stem installation tool, put the valve back in. Just thread it in until it's snug. And then I happen to have the compressor handy, but any, or, any air source that you have will work. And we'll air it up to approximately 15 psi. Have a look around the tire. Make sure that the bead is seated all the way around. And then we just have a bead lock left to tighten back up with a gear wrench, and we're done. Thanks for watching my video on how to change out a dirt bike tire. I hope it was full of useful information for you. Thank you.